Hello, I'm Patrick Gallagher, author of Transcendence, a high-octane, action-packed science fiction adventure which hurtles from sun-baked Uganda to rain-swept London to the futuristic space station, The Garden. 14-year-old twin geniuses, Jacob and Kira, are recruited by the mysterious tech billionaire, Amira Rana, for Transcendence, a programme designed to protect the planet from the greatest threat it has ever seen. I was inspired to write Transcendence by the kinds of stories which I loved growing up, things like Alex Ryder, Harry Potter, Darren Shan, uh, Doctor Who, Spider-Man comics, films like Jurassic Park, Star Wars, The Avengers, all things um, that inspired me to write something like a big blockbuster, um, fast-paced, action-packed adventure um, with a mix of genres like action, comedy, horror, romance and science fiction, all of these things, but also something that was a mix of great characters and weighty themes. Uh, and one of those big themes is which I really wanted to cover was the theme of the environment and climate change. Uh, and hopefully Transcendence uh, will help to make people more aware, more engaged in the very real crisis that we are facing now uh, as a species. And, and the idea that that crisis is something we can face and something we can solve if we all work together. And so that alongside these great big action sequences um, is something which I hope you will really enjoy uh, in Transcendence. Um, and speaking of big action sequences, I'm going to read a brief uh, excerpt from it now. Uh, and this is a moment when uh, Jacob and Kira are in the midst of an escape from a mysterious, threatening figure. I hope you enjoy it. Jacob had just enough time to leap on and put his arms around Spider and Kira before his sister released the throttle and kicked the motorbike into third gear. The 123cc engine screeched. The back wheels spun, spraying dirt. They sped down the road. Hot air rushed over them. Jacob's shirt hugged his chest and rippled across his back. Sweat that had been creeping vertically down his face slowly turned horizontal. Pedestrians, cars and market stalls hurtled past in a blur, inches away on either side. A dog yowled and dashed out of their path. Kira, slow down, yelled Jacob over the bellow of the engine and the howl of the wind. Do you really want me to do that? Kira yelled back. Squinting to keep the biting dust out of his eyes, Jacob twisted round to look back down the road. His stomach wrenched itself into a knot. The Cherokee was following them. Its gigantic black form could be seen over the tops of the other cars. The traffic was flowing much faster and there were large enough gaps between vehicles for the Cherokee to navigate its way around them to keep up with the motorbike. Speed up! Speed up! Speed up! Jacob shouted, facing forward again. Kira was forced to do the opposite. Spider had also seen the Cherokee and appeared to have decided he had more of a chance of escaping Bomber Jacket on foot than he did on wheels. He squirmed on the seat. The Yamaha rocked dangerously and Kira had to jerk the front brake. The front wheel of the Yamaha screamed to a halt. The back wheel skidded and cut another arc into the footpath with the sound of tearing paper. A cloud of red dirt billowed around them. Stones scattered across soil. As soon as the Yamaha was stationary, Spider attempted to leap from it like a springing frog. Jacob saw a glint of something in the sunlight. Wait! Jacob's hand closed around the boy's wrist calling him back. Incredibly, Spider was wearing Bomber Jacket's watch. The black leather strap was far too big for him and slid up and down his spindly arm. That doesn't belong to you, said Jacob. Spider tried to wrench the hand out of Jacob's. As the two of them struggled, both pairs of eyes fell on the back of the round watch face and the logo engraved upon it. It was the R in the middle of a golden crown, the Ranatec logo. Well, I'll leave it there. Um, that's it for me. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Patrick Gallagher, author of Transcendence. I hope you enjoy reading uh, and I'll see you all soon.